Hi, so today I want to show you how to apply screen protector on Samsung curved screens and uh, always make sure to buy the original screen protector because when you buy cheap ones they usually get off quickly just by putting a cover on the phone a cover that could push on the screen protector so this is a good brand but it's not that popular it's available in Dubai but I did not see it in the, on the internet you can not find it on Google but there are many other brands that are good and how to know that it's a good one these these lights that come with it, the UV light, the port of the USB is supposed to be like this or a type C but original. Some come with just a, a board inside, it does not look like an original port. So this is a good protector, at least this is one sign that is a good one and it's always gonna be more expensive. So let's begin. So that I moved the camera closer to the screen so you can see well. Then after using the wet wipes, you use the dry wipes, the, the cloth that comes with it to clean off the wetness. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna apply the the glue that comes with it. We're gonna apply it in two places. You have to be very careful for it not to come into the speaker because immediately it comes into the speaker. It's going to be a problem. If you immediately you put the UV light on it, it's going to dry out and then your speakers will get blocked. Because immediately these UV lights come on it, it gets dried. So I'm going to get ready the UV light. It's on power to a power to a power brick. So that immediately we have to heat it up. So now we apply two drops make the drops even on both sides only in two places which is best apply it in two places it keeps it far away from the speaker next step now is to remove this leather off make sure you always remove the leather it's very important if you don't remove it it's gonna ruin things oh look at the little dust particle make sure you have no dust on this screen protector itself then place it on the screen the gum the glue is gonna spread everywhere just wait for it make sure it's even the top and the bottom the placement of the screen protector is even not too downwards and not too upwards make sure you allow it to go and spread evenly it should fill up everywhere you have to see the glue go on everywhere on the screen you can see it's filled up everywhere you start heating the screen protector 
at least. I'm seeing some bubble here. I want to make sure. I want to try and get it out. I don't want to squeeze. I don't want, you don't, you make sure after you apply it, never ever take it off because of maybe some little bubble because if you don't apply it well from the beginning it's all ruined see pressing on it is gonna get off the glue more out of the screen just because of a little one I can't ruin everything it's gonna get ruined because of a little air bubble if you can see it through here I'll just leave it that way So you keep on heating it for like at least 5 to 10 minutes, you apply this light, the UV light. So always make sure you always put them in two drops just like I did. One full drop here, just almost at the middle, both of them. One above the middle of the phone, one below the middle. And when you place the protector, it's got to, the fluid is gonna go and spread by itself evenly without going into the speaker. The most important thing you have to know is not make it come into the speaker. So it's easy to do, you can also do it at home. The best screen protectors are these UV light. UV light, because it's called UV light, because this is a UV light and then you have to apply that gum and then when it gets heated by the UV light, then it dries out. Always heat up all the parts of the screen, because maybe if some dropped in the sides and then you want to clean them up from the edges of the phone, they won't go off anymore, because it's, it's, it would be really dried out. And then when you try to remove it, you will take off the screen protector by mistake. I know it's frustrating, curved screens are frustrating but if you like Samsung if you're a fan of Samsung and you like the cameras and you like the S Pen you prefer it more than iOS you'd have to adapt to it try to do the things that you have to do to protect the screen so after apply so after applying make sure you clean this protector from the dirt any dirt that is on the surface then we can dry out the fingerprints it's it's best after applying your screen protector to remove the old fingerprint and apply a new one because it would function better. You can see the fingerprint is working, except you have to aim your, it's not gonna be like the way when the phone is not having a screen protector on. It's gonna be different, of course. The better the screen protector, like, if you buy an original one, the screen protector would still function. So I set it up already. Let's try it. You can see screen protector. The fingerprint is working perfectly. See, no delays. Anytime you buy a fake screen protector, like anytime you buy a cheap one, 
then it's not gonna function the same way see I'm testing it maybe up to 20 times now or more and it's functioning well so if you like the video kindly give a thumbs up and a, a subscription will be wonderful thanks for watching